Okay, this episode kind of has me mind blown because I'm making a treat that I used to get all the time back in the day at the grocery stores and sometimes still to this day. It's these beautiful retro cosmic brownies, the perfect ratio of fudge, the perfect ratio of that brownie, and of course, those colorful chocolate frilled sprinkles that you can't forget about. But today we're switching things up just a tad bit and making a retro cosmic brownie sundae with that vanilla ice cream gonna be on there. I'm making a super, super duper simple chocolate fudge sausage on top of it all. And of course, those coffee brownies. Come in the kitchen with me so I can show you how it's done. same thing for every single recipe I do when it comes to brownies. I always start with a saucepan going um, and add some butter in. The butter is fully melted. It's unsalted butter, by the way. And I'm going to just whisk in some cocoa powder right in there. Doing this saucepan method makes a really fuzzy brownie. And honestly, I have not gone back to any other method when it comes to brownies other than this after I figure this out. I'm going to add some sugar in as well. You want to keep whisking because you don't want anything to clump up. You want a nice, smooth mixture when you're making this, okay? Finish it off with a little bit of chocolate chips as well because double chocolate is always the way to go when making brownies. Keep whisking, keep whisking. And those chocolate chips are gonna melt right into the sauce to make a nice, thick, and luscious chip sauce. Some vanilla extract, I told y'all, I never measured vanilla. Vanilla is the best, but about a teaspoon. All right, keep whisking that up. This is a very fast process because that butter was nice and hot and chocolate melts super fast. I'm gonna leave it alone right there. I'm whisking it up. We're gonna keep melting. And let's move on right here to our dry ingredients. So our dry ingredients are very, very simple. It's gonna be a cup of flour. And then we're gonna add some salt to it to cut that sweetness. Just a little bit of salt. And now we can add in our milk. And so now we're gonna add this hot chocolate sauce. You notice right there I have some eggs that I'm not adding quite yet. I want to mix this hot chocolate sauce first with the flour just to cool it down a little bit so those eggs don't scramble. Whisk that up. Look at that. Look how luscious that looks. So everything in this bowl right now except for the eggs. And it smells delicious. If you're like me, I love to taste my batters when I'm baking. And I always try to taste it before I put the eggs in. I won't taste it right now on camera because I've already had it many times, but go for it, why not? All right, this is cooled down quite a bit now. So I'm gonna add these eggs. You wanna whisk it in really fast. So now I give it a chance to curdle it off. Whisk those eggs in. Super thick, super luscious. Just how you want a brownie to be. And what's so special about these coffee brownies is they have the perfect ratio when it comes to that fudge sauce on top of it, but also that nice fudgy and chocolate brownie. And all the chocolate, of course, is a chocolate brownie. All right, let's put some things over right now because we're gonna put our brownies into a pan. Today I'm using a nice, simple sheet pan. I'm using a half pan, and you want to be sure to spray this bad boy all the way because you would hate for your brownies to come out the oven sticking. Never a good idea. So you want to coat that with not thick cooking spray. If you don't have this on hand, brush it with some oil or use some butter, whatever works. Go ahead, I'm going to show it to a rubber spatula to make the job easier, and be sure I don't waste any of that batter. Look at that, OMG. That is how a brownie batter should look. Oh, OMG, this looks so good. You wanna scrape those edges, because I'm telling you, it's too good to miss out on. All right, so I have my oven preheated right now to 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake these brownies in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. They're pretty thin, so they don't, they don't need that long of a time to cook, but 20 minutes does the trick. So I'm gonna spread this out to make sure you're meeting all the edges. I can't stress how good this looks. Look at that, all right, perfect. So you're gonna make basically a sheet pan brownie. I always have to do a few taps on the counter. This allows for any air bubbles to come out so your brownie comes out nice and flat, no air bubbles. I 
see you in 20 minutes. All right, so while it's burning in the oven baking, it's time to make this easy fudge sauce. Pay close attention because you do not want this recipe. I make it all the time when I make Sundays, and it's way better than the store bought uh, fudge sauce, so it's pretty essential in my recipe book. So starting off, I have a saucepan once more, and I have my butter melted in there. So I want to add some heavy cream. I'm going to stir it in, and be sure all your ingredients are at room temperature when you're making this fudge sauce. It's essential. All right, we have my heavy cream in there, as well as my butter and I'm gonna whisk in my cocoa powder. For butter sauce, I don't really use chocolate chips. I always use uh, cocoa powder. It just kind of makes a better butter sauce. All right, all that in there. You wanna keep whisking it vigorously until that cocoa powder is all the way broke down. Oh my hot chocolate. All right. As I always say, add a little bit of salt into your sweet products to cut that sweetness, and it makes a big difference. And finally, you cannot have fudge sauce without sugar. Whisk that all up until those ingredients are all the way broken down. All right, you're pretty much all done. Let it simmer for 10 minutes, and your fudge sauce is all done. All right, so my garnets have been cooling up for a little bit, and I cut them into little, little pieces. I want to hear the taste of. When I tell you they're good, I mean it. All right. Let's start with this sundae, okay? I have my little cute sundae glasses. Don't worry about it, these are regular loaves. I'm gonna give a big scoop of ice cream. When it comes to sundae scoops, the bigger the better. All right. If it, if it will come off, it'll be great, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Big scoop of ice cream. Now we're gonna top it up with a few of these brownie bites. The main star of the show. Appreciate getting that. All right, now I'm going to top it up with some of this fudge sauce, homemade, of course. And these nostalgic chocolate covered sprinkles. OMG, look at this. I need to grab a spoon. Where do I start? Look. First of all, let's get let's get into it though. This reminds me of the same exact one they got at the grocery store, but with a Sunday and homemade fudge. Oh, extra sprinkles, please, by the way. Oh my goodness. Yo, it's just like some lean on the counter type of stuff. It's just so delicious. That brownie with the homemade fudge sauce. Worth making a mess for. <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. Thank you so much for watching the episode today of the Selfie Gourmet. I'm signing off right now. I'm gonna finish the Sunday. See you next week. <laughs>